Hello everyone, welcome to Option Gate. This is your host Vivek Somani. I am an option trader by passion and a full-time software executive by profession. If you want to learn how to generate consistent monthly income trading options while working full-time in your day job, then join me in this journey. The topic for today's discussion is put option. This is what we're going to learn in today's. So we'll go through what is a put option, uh, what's a long put option, look at the profit and loss diagram of a long put option, then we'll cover short put option and look at the profit and loss diagram of a short put option. So basic information about put option. This is one of the most basic option strategy. The other one is a call option. Again, this is a building block for creating little more complex option strategies. With the combination of the basic building blocks like put option and a call option, you can create other strategies in option trading like iron condors, iron butterflies, uh, etc. So let's cover long put, which is also known as buying a put. Uh, so what does a buying a put or a long put gives the buyer of an option contract? This gives the buyer of, an, of the option contract a right to put or to sell the underlying stock. So if you're putting the stock to someone means you are selling the stock. So buy, if you buy a put option, you're buying the right to put the stock, that is to sell the stock to an option contract seller. But at what price? That price is specified in the option contract, which is called the strike price. How long do you have this optionality to sell the underlying stock? At the strike price, the option is valid until the expiration period of the contract. So you can, as an option buyer, the 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 buyer of the option contract can exercise its right to put the stock at the strike price anytime on or before the expiry date of the contract. And f to get this right, the buyer has paid a premium to the option contract seller. Now we will look at a trade of of a long put so for example this is a trade again copied from think or swim platform other bro broker platform may display it little differently so this is an example of a limit order to buy an option contract that gives buyer the right to put or to sell 100 shares of netflix at a price of 335 on or before the expiry date of november 16th 2018 and for this right, the buyer has paid a premium of $23.60. So this is buy means you're buying this option contract, one option contract of Netflix, which controls 100 shares. The expiration period of this contract is 16th November. Strike price is 335. This is a put option contract. The premium paid is $23.60. And this is a limit order. Now let's look at the profit and loss diagram of a put option buyer. So long put means you're buying a put option. When you bought a put option, you paid a premium for it. So your break even point is the strike price. In this example is 335 was a strike price minus the amount of premium paid, which is around $23.60. So your break even point is 335 minus 23.60 means the stock has to fall below this break even point for it to be profitable. Okay, let's take a step back and understand as an option buyer, why would someone have bought this put option? It is to protect themselves against the stock going down. In this case, this is what has happened, but you already paid an insurance premium for it. So until the stock falls below the amount of the insurance that you paid, the trade is not profitable. So that's why you see that this green is a profitable zone, which is if the stock goes beyond your break even point, it is profitable. If a stock says above your break even point, the trade is not profitable. Now, what is the maximum amount of loss here? This is the amount of the initial premium that was paid. So this is the maximum amount of loss. Irrespective of the stock may go to 400, 500, but as an option buyer, you pay the premium and that is the maximum loss. Now let's look at the other part, which is a short option, means selling a put option. So what does selling a put option do? Selling a put option will commit the option seller to an obligation to buy the underlying stock from the buyer of the option contract. So the buyer of the option contract is putting the stock. The seller of the option contract will have to buy that stock at a specified price, which is a strike price, anytime before the expiry of the contract. So which is essentially anytime when the option buyer exercise its right to put the stock, the option seller has an obligation buy the stock from the option buyer. Now to commit to this obligation, 
the seller received a premium from the option buyer. Now this is example of a sell trade, a uh, sell order. Again, copied from a uh, Think or Sim platform. It's a limit order to sell an option contract that gives the buyer of an option contract a right to put 100 shares of Netflix to this seller at the price of 335 on or before the expiry date of November 16th, 2018. For this right, the seller has received a premium of $25.05. Again, let's go one by one on all the elements. This is a sell option contract to sell one contract of Netflix which control 100 shares. This is ex expiration date is 16th November 2018. The strike price is 35. This is a put option contract. Premium received by the seller is $25.05 and this is a limit sell order. Next let's look at the P&L diagram for an option seller. So the profit zone for the short put option seller is the strike price minus the premium received as long as stock stays above it it's a profitable if the stock falls below it it is getting into the loss zone why is it so it is because if the stock falls below the strike price being an option seller this stock will be put to it the option contract will be assigned to it and the option seller will have to buy the stock at the strike price but remember he already got a premium of 23 dollars so even if we bought the stock at a strike price if the stock does not fall more than strike price minus 23 dollars that is a premium received it is a profitable trade if a stock falls way below that is it goes below the strike price minus premium received that's where it gets into the loss zone the losses will increase as the stock uh, keeps on falling down but the profit is limited to the initial uh, premium that is received Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please write it in comments or email it to optiongig at gmail.com. If you liked what you learned, please help us spread the word so others can also benefit from it.